Alright, today we're going to talk about brand new skins coming to Global Arknights over 2024. I will talk about these in order of how they released on CN, but do remember that the global schedule does not always align with CN, so unfortunately I cannot give specific dates for these. Anyway, let's get right into this. But with the recent tweet from Arknights EN, we could potentially have some skins finally coming to Global that aren't just CN exclusive, and those are KFC skins. Listen, I'm going to say it, I'm actually mega hyped for these. Even the community itself is literally celebrating already, I know a lot of people are very excited for this. Of course, we don't know when they're coming or how we actually get them. They could end up just being like quite expensive or they could cost some sort of money. This includes, of course, the Exu skin. Definitely the prettiest one out of the bunch. I couldn't really find that many animations for these skins, but this one's really pretty and definitely my favorite one. We do also have though, a croissant skin, which looks very nice as well. Low key, one of my favorite characters in the game, five star wise, so very happy to see her get a skin. Vigil KFC skin when though, I mean, maybe it's just me. I know you all love Vigil, right? And of course, we have an Ifrit skin, which I actually think is pretty cool to be fair. I do prefer it over her other skin. And honestly, the skin made me realize how badly Ifrit deserves more skins. Now, onto a skin that's most likely seen exclusive, but I will mention very quickly, is this Amiya skin. Now, from what I understand, this is basically a collab between Arknights and a Chinese space company. I could be wrong on that, but regardless, this is a very pretty skin. I really do hope we can actually get this on Global, because Amiya really deserves a skin like this. The actual animations as well, even though nothing crazy, they're actually pretty cute, especially her base animation with the planets. I actually really like it, Loki. Now, moving on to the real events that will be coming to Global, guaranteed, next up we have the Typhon event. This will be coming with four skins. The first skin is actually a free skin we can get as part of the event rewards, which is this Ambriel skin. Honestly, I've said main times before, but I really do love this skin. Actually, I love the colours to it low-key. Like, if there's any bright colours on the skin, it does generally become my weakness just to get the skin most of the time. So I'm very happy that this one is going to be free. So you don't really have to worry about saving for it. But one skin I will be saving for is this next stainless skin. Now, the animations on this one are actually brilliant, mainly because there's so many cats. It's literally so mega cat themed and on his third skill the all around him is actually low-key really cool it's like a cloud of basically a cat behind him i'm a massive fan of the skin and cannot wait for it to drop i will be getting this 100 percent and we also have a Sailor skin that is coming in the event which looks pretty i'm gonna say I, i'm kind of a fan of it but i don't know why it is it kind of feels like she's quite far away on the skin of course you can zoom in once you go into like the lobby and stuff but it's a bit of a weird skin in that sense. I still do like it and I will probably get it even though I don't have Sail Leech, which is kind of funny to think about. But we also have finally the Beeswax skin. Now, personally, not a massive fan of Beeswax, but I'm sure some of you will like the skin regardless. I will say the colors are really nice on this one, to be fair. Now, to actually talk about the integrated strategy skins that we can get this time around as well, of course, like previous ISs, you can actually get skins. This time around, we have two skins. At level 80, you'll be able to get this Typhon skin. Overall, I do actually like this skin a lot. I have seen some people like it, some people not like it. Personally, I am actually quite a big fan of it. I will say, though, I would have loved if it was Live 2D. That's maybe just my opinion, but regardless, I think this skin is pretty nice. And I'm honestly just going to say, I'm very curious how Typhon carries around a weapon that is so big. Can we just talk about that? But next up, at level 125 on this, you both actually get a Centala skin. I've talked about a skin a couple times before, but honestly, I don't really like it. I think it's just not that good. I was originally hoping for something that was a bit more exciting when this kind of first got revealed, but it is what it is, and it is basically a free skin if you play enough, so I'm not really going to complain about the skin. Now, the next event we have up is Dorothy's Vision Rerun. Now, this will be coming with only one skin, and that will be for Astene, who is the free unit on this actual event. The skin will cost 18 original, and overall, it's not my type of skin, but the can left, to be fair, does give extra brownie points. Now, we'll be very curious to see how many people actually get this skin, because like I said, it's not for me, but maybe you guys will actually like this skin. Now, moving on to the next event, we have the Trial for Navigator 3. This will be coming with two brand new skins. First of all, we have a free event reward skin for Salen. Gonna be honest, a lot of people tend to have a go at me for forgetting who Salen actually is. And I'm gonna admit it, I actually still don't remember who she is, but it's a very good skin regardless. I'm actually a massive fan of the skin. Not only is it just free, but it is honestly just a pretty clean skin. The second skin that will become with this event is a Luna Cup skin. This is probably not for everyone, but I can still appreciate it in some sense. Generally, looks pretty nice, but I personally don't see myself buying this, especially not with Originite. 
Right, next event we have is Ideal City Rerun. This will be coming with only one skin for Minimalist. Funny enough, I've said this on stream before, but this skin, I'm actually low-key looking forward to it. I didn't actually expect him to get such a cool skin for a unit that I don't see many people using, but I'm definitely going to build him now since he's getting the skin. Alright, now moving on to the Jessica Ultra event. This actually comes with some of the previous skins I think I've seen in Arknights, and I believe this is a collab with a museum, but I could be wrong on that. But first of all, of course, we have the Live 2D Link skin. Link gets another skin, and honestly, this one is really good. I actually personally prefer it over her other one, to be honest, but the animations for the dragons, the actual animation of the skin, and just the colors overall just look really, really good. I'm a massive fan of this one. Most people watching this are probably just going to get this on release now, innit? But we next up have a Franca skin, and this one's actually very pretty as well. Funnily enough, Franca's first ever skin, which is actually a big W for her. This one honestly is just great, and I do love the overall theme to it. I feel like I repeat myself probably a lot of times with these type of skins, but this one is just really good. Next up for the last one, we have a Cubai skin. And to be honest, I don't have Cubai, but damn. I really want this skin badly. I actually wish I had this on my account just because it looks so cool. I love the theme to it, and the high is literally on another level. I don't even know what the heck that's supposed to be. And but I do kind of have the real question of, do people genuinely use Cubai? Because I never see it used. Maybe I'm completely wrong on that. I am very curious. Let me know in the comments. All right, next up, we have the Nine Chord Day Rerun event. I've got to be honest, the skin is cute and it is a little bit more interesting. But it's not really one that I'm personally interested in, at least. Alright, now moving on to Design of Strife, which seems to be like a mini cosmetic event. This actually does come with a skin for Cardigan. Honestly, I'm actually very happy to see Cardigan get a skin. I do really like her actual Christmas skin, but this one's honestly very cute. She also hits enemies literally with a baguette, so I mean, to be honest, this is a pretty amazing skin just for that reason. Okay, I'm mega hyped to talk about these skins on this event because there's a lot of really good ones. We have an episode 13 event which will come with four different skins. First of all, by far the best one here, and one of my favorites, probably this year, is the Fia Mare skin. I'm gonna be honest, this one's actually insane looking, and I said it's on release, but I kinda wish this was Live 2D. It would really make a lot of sense for this skin to be Live 2D. It would literally be perfect, but regardless, I don't have to say it, the skin is literally amazing. I just cannot wait for it to come at this point, especially for a character like Fiametta. I'm actually very happy to see her get a skin and also such a nice one. But next up, we have a Whispering skin. This one actually gives me like heavy Stolteria Nevis vibes. She could be an Abyssal Hunter. I have actually no clue. I don't pay attention. I always forget this every single time. But even though it doesn't have many bright colors, I'm still a pretty big fan of it. I'm assuming this is some sort of church theme in the background there too. Suppose it's time to really just pray that I have enough Originite for the actual skins this time around. But overall, pretty nice skin. Third skin we have is for the one and only Dorothy. I mean, I'm actually very happy to see this because I like Dorothy a lot. So I'm very happy she's getting skin. Though I am just realizing how much Originite I'm going to have to actually be spending this year. I mean, this is like probably 100 plus Originite, 200 plus Originite. Just for these, all these skins together. Kind of a nightmare. But talk about the skin. Apparently, the characters on the right actually represent actual characters in the game. I'm not sure if it's actual characters in the game in terms of like their skins or if it's actual characters like usually, but very interesting. Overall, mega nice skin, and there is a dragon in the background too, which is actually pretty sick to be fair. But now we have the final skin of this update. It is for a girl that I can never pronounce the name of. Every time I try to pronounce it, it goes like a complete nightmare, so I'm just gonna put the actual name on the screen. Regardless, holy crap, this skin is adorable. I mean like, the little characters at the bottom, the little animals, they're actually really, really cute. And the colors on the skin are probably the best I've seen in a long time. I mean, just overall, if this was like a lobby skin, this would be really, really good in my opinion. Unfortunately, not really a character I used though, so it's not really my type of thing, but comparing this to her free skin, this is literally on another level. Alright, next up we have Siraku Sano Rerun. Now, this is an event that I'm actually excited for mainly because of the skin, and this skin looks really, really good. Not because it's Vigil and he's my favourite character, and I think and I hope that his module is going to make him really good, but because it is actually a very cool skin. I'm low key a big fan of it. I mean, the dog's literally wearing a hat, guys, so I mean, I would say it's a 10 out of 10 skin. If you haven't built Vigil yet, I really do recommend it. It's definitely worth it, but moving on. Alright, so next up we have a Virtuoso event. This event actually comes with a massive six skins along with it, which is actually a lot for an event. The first skin we have, though, is a free skin for Meteor that you can actually get by logging every day. Like usual, any free skins, of course, always are very appreciated. And even though a skin is actually very simple and doesn't have that much going on, it's generally pretty nice, to be honest. 
But second skin we have is a skin for Ashlock. Now, honestly, not a massive fan of this skin, even though I will say it's quite unique in a sense, and it is kind of different to what we usually see. It just really isn't my type of skin, but I'm sure someone out there will probably love it regardless. Now, onto the third skin, we have one for Absinthe. I'm not sure if I said that name correctly, but this skin I have said before, I wasn't a big fan of, and to be honest, it has actually kind of grown on me. Like, it's not actually that bad. It has overall just being a pretty decent skin i actually do kind of like it now i don't see myself buying it realistically but do let me know down below if you are actually going to get the skin because i'm genuinely curious now moving over to the next three amazing skins i come in i want to skip straight to this part first of all we have a skin for texas ultra live 2d skin Yes, she has a new skin. This one actually looks really incredible. Going for a lot more of a red theme this time around, which honestly, I'm in love with pretty much everything on the skin. The animations are as well pretty clean as well. Generally pretty simple, but I actually really do like them and I cannot wait for this skin to come around. Now, my original is even more depleted after these other two skins. Next up, we have a bagpipe skin. Now, this one is not Life 2D, but goddamn, does it look good. Honestly, I'm going to say it, her free skin was just not really that great, but this one is such a perfect skin. I just love how much she stands out on the skin with her hair color and the overall outfit, even though I don't usually talk about the outfits on characters. This one I'm actually like a massive fan of, not for any weird reason, I'm just going to point out. But honestly, up there, probably with the Fiamma skin for me. But the next skin we have is another really, really good one. This update is smashed out of the park. The final skin for the event we have is a Mlaenor skin, and it is Live 2D like it should be. Honestly, this skin is insanely nice, and when it's Live 2D, it can actually change the background, which I'm assuming shows his past when he was younger. Honestly, not a massive fan of the story in terms of of games but this is really cool if you like lobby skins this is probably going to be the best lobby skin mainly because i've seen it in the lobby and it just constantly changing backgrounds really is good next up we have contingency contract one event this actually comes with one free skin that would be for flamebringer honestly nothing too special he does look cool but low-key not gonna lie to you, i already like his e2 art that he has so not sure if i'm going to use this but of course it's a free skin so that's always a w anyway now, moving on to the right to Lake Sil Burns event, we actually have some Christmas themed skins this time. Can't wait to get these Christmas skins, by the way, in the summer when it comes around. I mean, that's that's the biggest Arknights moment ever. But the first skin we do have is one I'm really hyped for, and that's a Penance Christmas skin. Honestly, she's deserved this skin for a very long time now. I mean, Horn got one before her, which I think is a big shame because she really deserved one. But it's a pretty simple skin in the grand scheme of things, but still a very cool skin regardless. Now, moving on to the next skin, we have a Quimplat skin. This one reminds me a bit of the skin that Grey had, where it was also Christmas themed. This one is actually really cool though. I look you would really love to get this skin and overall the theme to it is just really solid. As the only person who's probably gonna have Quimplat built, to be fair, I can actually finally feel special now for once. But the final skin we have coming is one for a character I can never pronounce the name of, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of, but this skin is actually a very interesting one. I mean, the outfit is like something for sure, I'm just going to say that. The outfit is pretty crazy, but the overall colours and just how it looks is delectable. And I search a lot, but regardless, that is 8 out of 10 for me on that skin. Alright, next up we have the Reed Alter Event Rerun. Now, this only comes with only one skin, but this does actually have a very cool one. It's actually for Puzzle. Low-key, I really do like Puzzle as a character, so I'm actually very happy to see this be in the game. But I do have to very quickly say, surely it's mega uncomfortable to be sitting on your tail like that. Maybe it's just me, but I always think that when I see a skin. Alright, next up we have this New Year's Event Login. Now, this is basically something that you just log in every day and you get the skin. This skin is actually for Ansel, and I've actually got a soft spot for Ansel. On a very quick mention as well, this is a dude. I know a lot of people who start the game like, oh, it's a pretty cool female waifu character. No, a waifu is also subjective, but no. I, wait, that means that I would think that. I, listen, I take it back. It's a cool skin. I like it. It's very cute and it is free. So that's a big W. Let's move on to the next one very quickly before I actually incriminate myself. All right, now onto one of the newer events that has come to CN and released, that is the Grinning Valley event. It actually comes with three skins, and the first one is this free Earth Spirit skin. To be quite honest, it's not my type of skin specifically, just straight up, 
but it is free which is obviously nice and it is quite a cozy skin but like i said it's just not really my type of skin but the second skin we have here is actually a mint skin now this one is actually really nice like straight up she's holding some sort of cube and she's actually pretty cute on the skin as well overall a w skin and even though i don't have a built i might honestly build her just for this skin to be honest all right now onto the final skin of the event we have a really really nice one this time this one is actually for redota and it is live 2d as well Honestly, absolutely insane looking skin. I didn't even see this one coming, but I'm all for it. I know that some of you are probably going to get this straight away, and to be honest, I will too. But from what I've seen, this is kind of like a witch-like theme. That's my guess, and the dragon behind her is actually a really badass too, to be honest. Overall, 10 out of 10 skin for me. Unfortunately though, we'll probably have to wait a long time for this, maybe like 6-7 months is my guess. So, we're going to have to wait, but it will be worth the wait in my opinion. Now for the final skin of this whole entire video, and if you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like, honestly it does mean the world to me, I'd really appreciate it, but we're going to end this on the brand new Jiyun skin, which honestly looks absolutely gorgeous, a very nice skin to end on, honestly it reminds me a bit of the Link skin in terms of theme, but honestly very pretty, and what I'm presuming is a duck on the left side, automatically makes this the best skin in Arknight's history. But that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about in this video. If you do want to see more videos like this, do drop a like and subscribe for more content. I haven't been that active over the past couple of weeks, but I will be back now and I'm going to be ready to make the best videos I can for all of you. If you do enjoy watching Arknight's content, then also maybe you'd like to talk about Arknight's in the description on my Discord. But anyway, hope you have a wonderful day, save your originate, and I will see you next one. Adios.